Time to check up on what's been going on with r slash scrap mechanic. This time, I need to see 30 likes on this video for me to continue making this series. Let's get started. Simple physics are just built different. What do we got here? Okay, pretty, pretty normal looking car. <laughs> and as soon as you set physics one, it's floppy wheels. What? <laughs> Kind of looks like arms that just want to reach out and give you a hug. I'm just looking for love. Gotta love those simple physics. You have a bearing on a suspension, on a bearing, on a bearing. All those chained joints are definitely going to be a little bit floppy. Floppy bearings. I'm kind of surprised though, you're still able to get around. <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> Any tips to make this drive better? Looks like a pretty normal vehicle. Wait, is that a glow bug on your head? What? Looks like a pretty decent vehicle. Why do you need this to drive better? It seems to be driving just fine. It does seem like it wants to tip over, but it's not actually tipping over. I think one tip that I could probably give is to put something heavy, like a metal or concrete base at the bottom. Seems like that's the only thing missing with this car, is that uh, it, it, it looks like this car was built entirely out of one material, so the center of mass is in the center of the car, when it could be a little bit lower, closer to the ground. And that should definitely help with it trying to tip over at all. You know, you could probably take some sharper turns. Here we've got an epic sunshake boat. Show, show, me, show me the epic boat. <laughs> that's, that's so many sunshakes. And I guess they're uh, low friction. I didn't realize you could just slide them around. And they float. I'm learning something new every day. Bo 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 boat. Bo 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 boat. I've got a sunshake boat. Got so many cans, didn't know they float. Bo 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 boat. Sunshake boat. Made out of 880 sunshakes. But hey, if you're ever stranded on sea, at least you have something to drink. You can stay hydrated. Don't drink that seawater. Made a steampunk head. What do you think? Hey, not bad, not bad. Is this uh, is this actually in scrap mechanic? The lighting makes this look like it's not like rendered somewhere else and not in the game. Also, is that like a piston on a wheel for the eye? Like a train wheel? You can go chugga chugga. 44 for the mouth and everything. I gotta say that looks pretty cool. Steampunk head. What's going on for that mustache? I have no idea. Cute or cursed? What, what am I looking at right now? It's a train with a face. Oh, it's like Thomas the Tank Engine. Except with like some kind of weird alligator face. This photo makes it look like it's just got a big old schnoz. Huh? Thomas the Alligator Engine. Alligators can be cute. Batmobile Arkham Knight. Really put the emphasis on that uh, Batmobile title. Hey, check it out. I haven't exactly watched uh, so many Batman movies, but I think I've seen this before. No idea what's going on with the wheels, though. Like, you would think that'd be kind of a bad design. But I guess when you're rich like Batman, you can afford to fix anything. He's never actually crashed his vehicle on any of the movies, has he? My main menu background, car doors are aligned with a camera. Adventure? Advent- wait, what? What's that? Oh, that's a picnic table with a walk stake. Okay, okay. So when you click the play button, the camera zooms right on into the open door of the car. Hop right on in, let's go for an adventure. DVD screensaver, but now with color. Looks like a vanilla built DVD screensaver. So to get all those colors, they must have glitch welded a bunch of lights in there. Is that also like a concrete screen? Oh my goodness. Wait, no, they have a bunch of RGB stuff in the back. Is it using mods or not? I'm confused. So, I made more renderings of my Lego CraftBot. Enjoy! Oh my goodness, it's the CraftBot in Lego. Also very small scale too, so I'm kind of surprised. Like, they got every detail. The hammer, the wrench, the head, the face, the little uh, exhaust muffler thing in the back. Is that even a part of the CraftBot? Even the port on the side. Yeah, got a good top view. And the door opens. <laughs> and he can hammer himself in the head. Crazy amount of articulation in those arms. Can set it in any pose. Very cool. Another amazing Lego build for Scrap Mechanic. Buying interactables at Ikea be like. <laughs> yep, you buy it, but you gotta assemble it yourself. My new vanilla railway project with turns and track switches. 
We got a train builder building trains. Oh, would you look at that? So the turn part of the track just flips over. Why do I want to see this thing flip when a train's on it? But hey, not bad. Seems to be really smooth. Chess Logic Game collab with Kivion. Did they really make chess in Scrap Mechanic? Kivion, the legendary Logic Vanilla Builder? Interesting. So you select the piece you want to move. Move the piece. Wait, and it even highlights where the pieces can go? All by shooting spuds. This is a massive build too. But I'm sure like the actual game logic is kind of smaller but like it also kinda would be big. I wanna see this, I wanna see this. Who wants to play chess with me? Oh my goodness, you literally can't see through it. There's just blue, <laughs> there's nothing but blue. Gosh, that is disgusting, <laughs> that is disgusting. Scrap mechanic is just built different. What are you doing? What is happening? Are you even thrusting those thrusters? I don't see any flames. Seriously, what are you doing? Why are you doing? What is happening? <laughs> Who is happening? How is happening? <laughs> You're not even in the seat anymore, what? what? So th this is just doing this just by itself. Are you on like physics one or something? Oh, oh, looks like it calmed down. Oh, ne never mind, never mind. <laughs> and it's gone? <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> ah, scrap mechanic. Very small stopwatch, it can count down too. Dang, that is a very compact stopwatch. Definitely looks like it's blueprint edited. But hey, look at that go. It, it works like a stopwatch. Very nice display too. Oh, okay, yeah, so you can uh, count down as well. So if ever you need a display for like a, a challenge or whatever, this is a good copy paste blueprint. You can time a race or use this as like a visual indication of how much time the player has left to do something. Schmidt coupling power transmission to any point in the same plane under a specific radius. Okay, okay, I see how this is working. And here you can see they built it in Scrap Mechanic. So you might be wondering why they didn't just do like two trifectas. Like you see there's a green, a yellow, and a white. Uh, so like why is there three instead of just two? But the third actually is what helps it go any point in between like a smaller radius instead of just a specific radius around the green point. Very cool. Finally managed to make an automated docking system for a spacecraft. Only took three months of trial and error, and I managed to do it from scratch in a day and a half. Wait, what? If it took three months of trial and error, managed to do it from scratch in a day and a half? Which one is it? Did you do it in three months or a day and a half? Uh, what, what, what? Looks like this is all in zero gravity. All right, we've got a very slow moving space pod. Docking procedure initiated. All right, look at that. They're gonna touch. Touching sequence initiated. Locked in place. And now the pistons do their thing. Very nicely done. Nice, and then you can walk from your space pod into the main station. And here we've got the top post. Guys, can you rate my underground base? Wait, what? Entrance hidden by bricks and rubble. Six feet under with an air vent and a fan. Saddam Hussein, what? <laughs> and a craft box, what? <laughs> Why am I, what, what is this? Why am I looking at this? He was secretly hiding a craft pod under there the entire time. But if you've seen some people do this like uh, bury myself alive challenge type of thing, you definitely need an air vent and uh, and a fan. You know, for whenever you fart in your own little coffin, you definitely don't want to be smelling your own farts. 
And those were some of the top posts for r slash scrap mechanic. Let me know down in the comments below which was your favorite. Leave a like on this video if you want to see some more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.